Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys this outfit. I put the hot and psychotic. I love this shit, but it's true. So if you guys don't know, I'm trying to lose weight, but some people say I don't need to, but I think I do. But anyway, I love this outfit. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing to clean my room and go to Derek's today. Cause he's gonna love this shirt, oh my God. So <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It's been quite rainy today, but it stopped, and look at my little baby Min's over there licking her booty hole. So I'm hella blasting the Take On Me song in here, and, <laughs> and I love it, like the 80s jam. Hey guys, so I didn't realize how cold it was outside, so I changed into this hoodie and just jeans, so... Yeah, I'm not really gonna put makeup on because I'm all sweaty, but I will put a little bit on like eyebrows, eyelashes. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but... Alright guys, so I put eyebrows on, mascara, and lip gloss, so let's go to my boyfriend's house. Alright guys, so I'm in the car. Dad should be coming out of the house any second, and we are going to go to Derek's. <gasps> Hi guys. <laughs> I look retarded. <laughs> it's because you just woke up, but no, you don't look retarded. You just have messy hair. <laughs> He's so cute, guys. I love him so much. He's the love of my life. <laughs> I'm not cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> my eyes are even crossed. Huh? I, I can't even blame it on your camera. My eyes are crossed. No, they're not. Oh. <laughs> Cutest guy ever. <laughs> God, stop! <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm. I'm not cute. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look at my eyeball popping out of my head. <laughs> stop! <laughs> Reminds me of Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> what the fuck? You ever seen the Boondocks? No. Oh, it's a cartoon. It's a funny cartoon, though. Like, it's an adult cartoon. Oh. I don't like cartoons. They're creepy. Really? This I've one's always, really funny. I've like, always thought cartoons were creepy. When I was a kid, I was really afraid of Snow White. <laughs> I'm Uncle Rockus. <laughs> and if anybody out there on YouTube knows who Uncle Ruckus is, please explain it to this young lady. He's so cute. I love you. He's my baby. He's my baby boy. He is. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. He's such a happy boy. Oh, my baby. My little baby. I want to give him a bath today. Oh. <laughs> Baby boy. Oh, I love you so much. So what do you do to relax and what and like lay down and watch a movie? Like what do you watch? Uh Porn? Lifetime. <laughs> You're so boring. Ah, You're like an old baby. Your breast stinks. Why, I catch it. Why are you being so boring? I don't know, I like lifetime movies. But I also like Romance. I don't have a whole lifetime to watch. A movie I like though. romance and drama the most, and Lifetime is just perfect for that. Oh, oh, baby. The baby. The baby. Oh, Mikey, you already have a human friend. Me. Oh. Baby boys. Little baby boys. <laughs> Hi, Drake. He's so cute. He's such a cutie. He is. He's a little baby. He's a little baby. <laughs> he 
likes being on camera. Yeah. Oh, I love you too. I love him so much. I love him so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. Oh. Hey, remember the zombie? I want your brains. <laughs> remember the idiot that uh told me he was uh it was my fault my ex died or boyfriend died. I just texted a picture. And I don't know what it is and I don't want to know. <laughs> Who keeps texting me? Looks like hundreds of people. Yeah. What the fuck are you watching? Ninja Turtles. Oh my lord. <laughs> you don't like cartoons, so this is never going to work. That's why we have to break up. <laughs> I'm going to slap the Daffy Duck out of this trick. <laughs> Did you really just lick me? Don't you do that. No. Give me your ear. No. <laughs> this dude's calling. Oh. So it's currently 7 p.m. We didn't do anything all day except I ordered DoorDash. Chinese. Panda Express. So excited. I don't know where it's at. Oh, baby boy. Um, I was, we had it in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Whenever everybody was here. You get me a title for it. And, and again, once he gets miles away, he fucking gets on Facebook and just start, starts talking mad cash shit. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days. I have some news. Derek dumped me for the last time. You guys don't exactly know what has ever really truly gone on in our relationship and it's something I don't want to share right now because it's really awful. There are some things I found out about him that are disturbing that I actually believe based off my experience with him myself. There are stories and stories and he is filled with so many lies. What I believe is that he's a monster. And I never thought I would ever say this out loud, but I really don't think he's a good person. My dad never thought he was a good person. I don't know if my mom ever did, but my dad, whenever he first walked into this house, my dad's like, I have a funny feeling about him. I should have listened. So, me and Derek are officially done. I know I said that before, but this time I really, really, really mean it. And honestly, I thought I did love him. I didn't love him. I loved the idea of having a relationship. I loved the idea of who I thought he was. He was never that person. I thought he was a good guy. His family and friends may think he's a good guy, may say they know he's a good guy, but from my experience, he's not. I don't care what anybody says, he's not a good guy. With family and friends, he might be a good guy, but with me, he wasn't. So, I'm done. I don't know how else to say it. I'm not even crying over him. That Like, that's how numb he made me. I haven't cried once about him lately, and since we broke up, actually, I've never cried. You guys are probably wondering, how am I dealing with this? I'm okay. And I don't know how I'm okay, because old me would have been killing myself by now. Old me would have been dead, or tried to be. Because I thought a while ago, since my last suicide attempt, I've committed suicide. I've tried committing suicide so many times for guys, and none have succeeded. And I think that's a sign. You guys know I've been talking about God and stuff, and me being an OnlyFans model. OnlyFans model. And me like questioning that stuff. But each day I feel like, in a way, I'm growing closer to something that I never thought existed, which is God. It's crazy. 
I've seen a lot of demons in my life, whether they were demons and people or demons in general or spirits and demons and shit like that. And if there's demons in life, and if so many people are talking about how they've seen angels save their life, and an angel once was in my room telling me it was gonna be okay, okay, my Uncle Philip, then why can't I start believing? But also, why do I do OnlyFans? Why am I that desperate for money that I don't have? Because my parents literally, they have money. Look at the house I live in. They have money. They have money, but I don't. And I want my own financial freedom. I wanna buy things. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. But I've been trying and trying since I was an adult to support myself in those ways and it's like, because I'm a felon, because I have took a dope charge for somebody, it's like nobody wants to hire me, and so I get desperate and desperate. I want to work hard. I want to get money no matter what it takes, so I do OnlyFans, and I don't even like doing OnlyFans. And I'm to the point where I'm like, what do I choose? Do I choose the future of God? To be with him, or do I choose this lifestyle, this temporary lifestyle, instead of something everlasting? I need to force myself to stop doing OnlyFans, but it's like a habit. Money's like a habit for me that I need to stop. If I don't have money, I don't have money, so be it. That's what I need to think about. And pray about honestly because yeah things I do out of spite for example dyeing my hair magenta or red originally it's pretty and stuff it just I like the blonde better <laughs> I want to go back to blonde eventually um, as soon as I can, but, you know, I need money for that, stuff like that, um, or unless my mom will do it again, I don't know, but, I don't know, guys, it's just a lot going on. Today at 4 p.m., so in like a few minutes, I have a mental health appointment. So I am going to get dressed and she's coming to the house to see me, to talk to me. So I am going to get dressed and wait for her. So I guess I actually have 10 minutes before she gets here. So I'm gonna bring my suitcase up here in my bedroom, but that's cause my friend had surgery and I'm gonna take care of him for a couple days. So. I'm gonna pack a suitcase, a small suitcase, and uh, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm about to get ready. I'm only gonna put on like eyebrows and mascara. Um, I'm about to get ready to go to my friend's house to do whatever. I will ask him if he would like to be on camera. If so, I'll film a vlog tomorrow because I'm going to be staying there a couple days. If not, I won't see you guys till a little bit later. Come on, huh? Put in your bed now. Put it right where I sit. Ha! I'm going to get in my chair. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this piece of paper. No, Time to make waffles. Oh, waffles? Huh? That's even better. You might have some already made in the Tupperware. No, they're, they're not anymore, unless there's just two left. Uh, I don't know. But I Where am I? Yeah. Oh, jacket. Oh, okay.
I slept in my makeup, but it still looks decent, so. It's currently a couple days later. I didn't film because I didn't really do much except watch over him and like, uh, yeah. I did hang out with uh, one friend during that time too, so that was nice. But anyway, got to take care of my friend and uh, all that, so that was good. Still haven't cried over Derek, thank God. Haven't really thought about him as much as I probably should, which is good too. So I think I'm moving on pretty good. Um, so yeah, a waste of time I felt like, but I need to move past that. I need to move forward, you know, and technically I shouldn't be thinking of it as a waste of time. I should be thinking of it as a moment in life, a hard moment in life. So, uh, yeah, but I just thought I'd update you guys and stuff. So, I'm going to cook some waffles and all that. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.